Hello and welcome to this tutorial on uploading your lecture notes as a video file onto YouTube and selecting your specific preferences such as the license. To begin with, please log on to your UMS Gmail account and select the YouTube icon from your Gmail window. To upload a video, click on Create. Assuming that your video has been created and saved as an MP4 video file, you will have to click on Upload Video. Select the file from your respective folder. In this case, I'm going to select a file called TestYT and open it. The file will be uploaded onto the YouTube channel and will be ready for processing. And this duration depends on your connectivity and your broadband speed. Now I'm going to key in the first element, which is the detail regarding the title. So I'm going to create this as lecture one. In the description section, you may add your learning outcomes as well as the description of your content. You may select any one of the thumbnails by clicking on this YouTube generated icons, or you can upload a thumbnail as a graphic file from your respective device. If you have multiple classes to teach, you can select a playlist for these specific videos. You must select or no, it's not made for kids. As this video is created for college level students, there is no age restriction for the video. You move on to more options educational videos such as the ones made at our institution do not have any paid promotional content so you do not have to be concerned about this you add a tag which will enable your video to be searched on a search engine so i'm going to key in biology and biochemistry you can add as many tags as you like The language by default is English. This is the default setting for the captions. The recording date you may select. I'm going to select today. The video location gives you the geolocation of the video. So I'm going to click and Google will select the location of my institution. And this is the license selection part. So there are two types of license that you can choose. The first one is a standard YouTube license. The second one is a Creative Commons with attribution license. Please remember that if you select Creative Commons with attribution license, your viewers may download, reuse, remix, and share your video. Please do not select this option if you have content which is copyright material, which you do not wish to share. As a general rule, Please do not use any copyrighted material such as images, video files or audio files with your video in order to prevent any legal action against your specific video. So the category which you select is dependent on your specific area. In this case, it's education. You may also select science and technology. Now this is one of the options, you must click on this option in, allow, in order to permit this video to be embedded into your learning management system as HTML file or HTML code. This specific selections are for comments, so I will allow all comments. This enables my students to provide feedback for my video. And when I'm done with everything, I click on next and move on to this next element so I can add end screens which prompt my students to move on to other videos or I can add any other kind of information onto my video by selecting these options. We will not go into this detail now as these are more advanced options. Once you're done with this you move on to next and this is another option which is important when it comes to lecturers. Lecturers who wish to make their videos available publicly, please click on public and your video is available in the public domain. If you click on unlisted, the video can only be viewed by those who have your link. 
And if you click on private, it's basically only you and those whom you share the video with who can view this video. You may also schedule a video based on the time for a specific class. When you're done with all these options, I'm going to click public. I'm going to click publish. The video will be published on your YouTube channel. Now, all you need to do now is share this video. You can share it by selecting this, by clicking on this link and embedding this link into your learning management system. You can also embed it as an HTML file, in which case you copy this. You copy this specific HTML code and incorporate it into the HTML editor in your respective learning management system. That's about it for this tutorial. I can give you some additional information on the uh, dashboard itself. So this is the dashboard, studio dashboard. If you want to modify this video, you can click on details and edit the content. You may also get your analytics, which is a good tool for analyzing how many viewers are watching your video. You can refer to comments by clicking on this icon and you can view it on YouTube by clicking on this specific icon. If you see these three dots over here, you are given some options. You can edit the title and description. You can get a shareable link. You can promote it on other channels. You can download the video or you can delete it forever. Now, please note that if you delete it forever, you are not able to recover it unless you have the video stored on your device. That's about it for this short tutorial. Please comment in the comment section of YouTube. Thank you for watching and happy e-learning.